Y'all still fucking with me? All right, so what is going on, guys? It's Golden Episode 2 here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my secret collection as of 2018. It's currently the day before 2019. I'm going to be wanting to do this. I'm going to be wanting to do this. I'm going to want to do this every year. Uh, do my secret collection every year towards the end, like let's say December, and just see uh, how it grew. My last collection video did some pretty good numbers. So hopefully this does a little bit better just because it's bigger and I have more heat. So without further ado, without me keep on fucking rambling, I'm gonna get into the video and into my collection. So to start off my secret collection, I have these Air Max 270s. They're really comfortable, really light. They're just all black comfortable shoe I got for work. Uh, retail on them was 150. Uh, regular price, oh, I got them for 75. Uh, they honestly they give me blisters sometimes. I went half a size up because the 10 and a half was a little bit snug. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a dope shoe, don't get me wrong, but not, not the most comfortable shoe I have, if I'm being honest. But anyways, let's get this out of the way. You wanna see the hype shit, I know you guys. I'm gonna keep pushing. So next in the collection, I have my Air Max Ones. They're just some blue and yellow Air Max One, just a comfortable shoes. Uh, I got these just to match with the Supreme shirt I got. And honestly, they're a nice shoe. Air Max One's probably my favorite Air Max model. And uh, that's why I have a shoe in the closet right now that's an Air Max One bottom which i love it's the best shoe of the year from in my opinion but anyways yeah just some air max ones uh blue and white all clean ah, i think they're really nice oh shit yeah, but yeah there's some air max ones keep it pushing so next on the list we have the air max 97 skeptas uh these are all gonna see a really clean classic color in my opinion i really like how the swoosh is oh well, the upper is not really like a normal 97 upper it's a little bit different uh, these are still dead stock in my closet. I actually caught them on accident. And the crazy thing about them is that since they're really dead stock, it's crazy to see that they're actually oxidizing. Like if you could see on the 97 bubble, it's weird that I haven't worn them, but they're still like getting really foggy. And I, I honestly don't like that. But uh, hey, it just shows that the shoe is aging. But yeah, one swoosh is red. The other shoe is uh, blue. I was gonna say black. Other shoe is blue. And honestly, it's a really clean shoe. I fuck with them heavy. They kind of remind me of the um what fucking shoe is that they remind me of the kendrick lamar uh reebok ventilators i believe they're really nice i always i've always wanted those but i've never gotten them but yeah they kind of remind me of that just because of the laces and uh you know blood and crib i think they're really dope anyways keep it pushing a little bit of heat for you guys the next shoe i'm not gonna spend too much time on it all red roshi get out of the way trash gym shoes another shoe i'm gonna get out of the way just a gym shoe Gray and white, Roshi, I got these fucking years ago. Trash, actually nah, let's not say that. They're not trash, they're just good gym shoes. I'm not gonna wear them out though, but Roshi's have been dead since fucking 2014, Forest Hill Drive. Next on the list, I have a blue and black Vapor Max 1.0. And if I'm being honest, the only reason I cop this shoe is because Travis Scott wore them in his Nike ad. So I really just cop this just because fucking Travis Scott was wearing it. I'm gonna put a picture up right now just because it's fucking Travis Scott. But anyways, yeah, these are actually a really comfortable shoe. They're really nice. And my sole purpose of buying them was because Travis Scott fucking wore them. But anyways, keep it pushing. Just a regular Vapor Max. Next up in my shoe collection, I have these uh, Oreo 4s. I just recorded half of this video and found out my camera died, so I fucking hate my life. But anyways, let me get back to where I was. I should have been on this shoe. I'm gonna be doing this video salty as hell now. Uh, next up is gonna be the Oreo 4s. I'll be reviewing this. That's probably why it cut off. But anyways, Oreo 4s, I got these in my first shoe in my secret collection, and I'm really ha happy that I really got them. Uh, if I went back in time and could see myself buying them, I would tell myself, don't fucking buy them, save your money, save your so money for something else cooler. But, uh, because now I honestly wouldn't buy it. But uh, honestly, these are still a cool shoe. It's an all black silhouette, Oreo 4. It's a classic colorway. And it still has that OG smell to it, that brand new smell to it, even though I've kind of beat them up and there's creasing on it. But luckily, it's still 100 stars. And uh, you guys want to see the heat, so I'm going to keep it pushing. Next up on the list, I have Maroon 6s. Uh, these are some OG old ass shoes. You probably you guys probably saw them in the old sneaker collection video. But yeah, uh, I've actually worn these only, I believe, two, maybe even three times, and the bottoms got hella fucking yellow. So, uh, shout out to that. Yeah, shout out to Jordan Brand and making them easy yellow. Probably was the Angel game I went to where it got it really dirty, but fuck it, whatever. Uh, I really like this shoe, and I liked it more when it was blue, but it's fucking yellow now. But yeah, all, all white shoe, classic maroon hits on the 
heel on the tongue and on the heel tab in the back as well. I'm gonna keep it pushing because uh, actually I should be telling you guys the price of this one retail was uh 220. Damn, I paid fucking 220 for these. Anyways, let's keep it pushing, guys. Next up, I got my Air Jordan 4 white cement fours. What the fuck? Why did I say it like that? But yeah, these are actually my grails for a couple years, and then I actually ended up paying resale. The first shoe I actually paid resale for, it was like 20 bucks over retail, though, so I wasn't really tripping. Uh, but yeah, I, these were my favorite shoe, and I beat them up so much, and I'm really happy I, I got them. But I'm really sad that I fucking beat them up just because it's a classic shoe. Uh, there's hella heel drag, if you guys can see that. There's really bad creasing. There's even a stain right here. I don't even know how I got that. But um, yeah, it's a really nice shoe. Nike on the back, and that's really the only reason why I bought it. But anyways, let's keep it pushing. You guys want to see the heat? I would classify this as a classic shoe. And finally, guys, for the 10th shoe, it's going to be this Air Jordan 1 Pine Greens. Uh, I actually got a pair which buttery quality on the mid panel right here the off-white on it actually makes me go crazy but dude this is really nice the buttery quality this is actually a really 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 good quality for a pine green uh to all over you know black and green shoe a little bit of off-white hints right here and on the midsole as well and a nike air on the tongue classic shoe i haven't worn it yet don't plan on wearing it anytime soon but it's a night really nice shoe and i really like them uh, i paid retail for these 160 and uh will i plan on letting them go Probably not, not anytime soon. So the next shoe up is gonna be the Raptor 4s. And uh, yeah, this shoe was fucking 220 out the door. Hefty ass price for a shoe with trash ass quality. And the shoe that I haven't worn to this day, but I really like the colorways. I originally had the Raptor 7s when they first came out. Not the when they first came out, I paid resale for them. But uh, I originally had them and I sold them and I regret it because that shoe was amazing compared to this shoe. But this shoe is still a really nice colorway and it brings me back some memories when I had the Raptor 7. So uh, yeah, I picked this shoe up for 220 out the door. I don't know for how much to go for it. I really don't care. And uh, I don't plan on wearing them anytime soon, even though they're a really nice shoe, but with trash quality with glue stains all over it and the new buck is inconsistent as fuck. Keeping with the purple mood going, I have the Court Purple ones dead stock uh size 10 and a half i paid 160 for these i ended up camping out i believe it was 20 hours 20 hours 12 hours with my friend and uh i got a pair with honestly the mint panel quality is not that good it looks like they use really cheap china or wherever the fuck the companies factories are uh quality on these but yeah these are really nice i don't plan on wearing them anytime soon and i really like these i really really like these these are really dope but yeah core purple jordan ones keep it moving next up on the list i have the win like 96 i believe these are yeah win like 96 11s these were my second jordan 11s my first ones are be coming up next uh, i'm pretty sure that you guys could guess which one i actually picked these up for 160 i've worn these once and the blue on the outsole is still really good and i like that about these uh the creasing is really bad and honestly these are uncomfortable as hell but yeah these are really nice shoe all red i was really looking forward to these for the whole year and i'm really happy that i got them and they're really nice next up on the list i have like the, the win like 82 i believe these are with the unc kind of blue carolina blue i guess you could say they are blue out to bottom i picked these up for 160 as well with my employee discount they're a really nice pair of shoes still having dead stock i have not worn these and i don't know when i plan on wearing these but these are a really nice shoe and i'm really glad i picked them up too just because i like i like white shoes white shoes are probably things that pop more in my opinion and that's why I, I really pick up a lot of white shoes but yeah when like 82s i'm keeping moving not one not two but three jordan threes i picked up this year and i'm really glad i did these katrina threes are probably my best out of these threes and a lot of old heads are probably screaming at their monitors right now because the black cements are in the same photo as the katrina threes and i'm saying the katrina threes are better but i'm telling you these guys Give me reminiscence of the white cement threes and i'm and i'm thinking about doing it just because all i need to do is just paint this black and then there we go white cement threes but anyways i really like these i think these are really nice and uh i've worn these a couple of times uh i haven't worn my black cements at all but trust me they're really nice i like these too but katrina threes i'm telling you all white kills it for me but anyways yeah red insole red lining right here all black black cement three classic colorway really really classic og and i like the nike air on the back especially 
I'm really sad that this didn't get a Nike Air on the back as long with the Katrina 3s. I'm really thinking about putting a Nike Air on the back and just taking this off. But that's a lot of work and I'm too lazy if I'm being honest. But yeah, all white Jordan 3 blew out to the bottom. That blew out to the bottom really, really made me want to get these. And I picked all of these up, uh, I believe, for under retail for, I believe, 140 130 150 160 no idea how much i paid for these but i know i paid below retail for these with my employee discount so shout out to full locker shout out to jordan brad for releasing all a lot of threes this year that i was able to pick up for below retail and being a sick shoe so yeah let's get these one two three shoes out of the way again not one not two, not three, but four Jordan 1s, even though I already put this in the collection. Let's get out of the way and we Oh, damn, look what I just did to those. Damn, I'm about to ruin my shoe. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Yeah, even though I reviewed that, I got a lot of Jordan 1s this year and I'm really glad I did just because they're a really nice color. And uh, up first is gonna be the Homage to Home Jordan 1s, uh, classic colorway between the bread and the Chicago. I really like both the bread and the Chicago, which is a easy pick for me to pick these up. And I really like that it's not really just like one shoe, honestly. It looks like they just, they put one side and one side and they sewed it together. And I really like when Nike or Jordan brand puts a lot of details into the shoe. And I really like that they did that. And it goes all the way up to the tongue and it's along with the back. And they're really nice. I got a really butter quality Jordan 1. And I really like that because I'm able to pick out which ones. And then I ended up copying these, I believe for 120 below retail, uh, not 120 below retail, but for 120 solid. And I'm really glad I did just because these and my shadows are my beaters. And if you don't have a pair of shadows in your collection as beaters or just in general, you are not a sneakerhead if we're being honest. Every sneaker kid, sneaker head has to have this in their collection. If you don't, that's a walking L because this is a classic shoe we you can wear with anything. And finally, in my Jordan 1s, uh, I don't think that's my last Jordan 1. No, it's not. I still have two more Jordan 1s. But uh, lastly, I have the Bread Toes Jordan 1s. By far one of the best Jordan 1 releases the whole year. And maybe even all, all time. It's going to be up there in the top five easily. But yeah, bread toes, these are amazing. A lot of people called these GRs at the beginning of the year and shocked everybody when they found out it was not a GR. So shout out to Scoop saying that these were a GR and then he made everyone think they were. But yeah, color blocking on these is classic. And I really like these, these are really nice. I'm not gonna be wearing these anytime soon though. So next up on the list, I have these Kyrie 4s, the All-Star Edition, just a tie-dye effect. I really like these just because they're a little bit different. Just a little play ball and shoes. Uh, they're really nice. They're comfortable. So much ankle support and so much ankle cushion that I really love this shoe. But next is just some Kyrie 4. Really nice. I feel like it's going to be a classic in a couple years. Next up on the list is going to be the Paul George 1. I believe this might be like the second or third colorway. It's all over Space Jam pretty much color blocking. Black on top, white midsole, blue as the bottom. Uh, just a clean, nice working shoe just to walk around in. Casual wear as well. And I really like these because they're really comfortable to ball in the floor. And I like low top shoes, so it's perfect. You guys don't even know about these. These are going to be the Kyrie 3 Bruce Lee Mamba Mentality Edition. They're really nice shoe. I've worn these uh, three times. I played ball outside with these and I really read it because I'm fucking stupid. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they're really nice, really comfortable and crazy shoe to look at. And yeah, they give me a lot of Bruce Lee vibes, especially with the, the I, I don't want to be ignorant and call this Chinese, but with, the, with this writing right here. And yeah, just a lot of scratches right here. The swoosh is black and then the tongue as well. Kyrie and the Mamba, half and half. I think that's really dope. Next up, I have the Shattered Backboards. And now I'm fucking with you. These are the Gatorade. Uh, all over Gatorade orange colorway that I uh, turned into shadow backboards and there should be a video coming up pretty soon Hopefully this year that uh, I get it done. But yeah, I painted these myself and I really like how they came out and uh, They're not finished yet. Obviously, I still need to turn the uh, the tongue and the Insole inner padding black, but uh, I really like how these are turning out so far and I really like these I plan on wearing these sometime soon and yeah, keep it pushing just a custom all of these right here are my Air Forces because Air Forces are coming back 
I have the Air Force One Just Do It. Uh, really off-white vibes on this. I really like these. They're really crazy. And one lace tip is orange. And I believe the other lace tip is green, which I really fuck with. It also comes with this little hang tag that I keep on when I wear it just to flex a little bit more. And I fuck these. I fuck these. I fuck with these hella just because they have a lot of off-white vibes too. Next up, I have Air Force, another Air Force One all-white silhouette with a kind of like, I don't know what to call this. It's kind of like a carpet. Like that's pretty much the coolest thing I can compare it to. It's a carpet swoosh. And I like how it's a uh, red and blue. It gives me a lot of vibes about the uh, the swoosh pack Air Force One that I have that I still haven't worn yet. But yeah, I like how these are all white and they kind of remind me of these, but I don't want to wear these because they're kind of worth a lot. But yeah, these are dope as well. Next up on my Air Force list, I have a pretty much all over, uh, I would call this like suede that I beat up and I wore a lot and I didn't know how to clean them, so I ruined them. But yeah, I still think these are really dope. They're really comfortable as well. These are actually the Ultra Force, I believe, Air Force, which uh, has a little bit more cushion than the normal Air Force does. But yeah, this is actually really dope. All over red, gives me a red October vibe. But yeah, keep it pushing. And uh, you guys know all about these, the Air Force One Louis Vuitton Supreme collab. That got me almost 50,000 views in a year. And I really, I'm really, thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I put proto on this side and then the other shoe has type, meaning that this was a prototype. And uh, this is the shoe that actually got me, made me a lot of money. And uh, it's actually, I'm really happy that it did. And I'm really happy that I did this custom. I haven't worn them in a while, but I really like them a lot. And I'm really, really happy how these turned out. And uh, as I was talking about before, I have the Air Force swoosh pack. Uh, I got these All-Star Weekend, I believe this uh, year. But yeah, Velcro swoosh, Velcro swoosh, Velcro tongue, Velcro swoosh. Pretty much you could change them out to any swoosh you want. And uh, yeah, these are just really dope. You could pretty much make them kind of like the Travis Scott's. These were the Travis Scott's before the Travis Scott's. And finally on the list is gonna be these, uh, pretty much these Air Force. Um, uh, they kind of remind me of the Travis Scott's just with, just because it has a white midsole and a gum bottom. All you need to do is just add Velcro swooshes right here and boom, you have the blue Travis Scott's. But anyways, these are pretty dope. It's a blaby, blaby, baby blue colorway. And I haven't worn these in a while and I honestly forgot that I even had them in my collection. But uh, now I'm gonna be rotating these into the rotation pretty soon just because these are actually really dope. And I remember I got these uh, half a size up just because that was the last size uh, available. And you guys know how Air Forces run. They run half a size big. So this is an 11 when I should need a 10 in Air Forces. But hey, these shoes are fucking fire. And I got them for like 40 bucks. So I was originally saving the heat towards the end. But honestly, I feel like you guys are getting bored of my collection just because the heat isn't in the beginning or the middle. So I'm just going to throw this in the middle. These are all my heat or my collection, things that I honestly love. And these are my grails that are probably never going to leave my collection. Uh, some of you guys don't like these. It's going to be the Beluga 2.0 Yeezy. Uh, I still haven't worn these. I think these are really nice colorway, tag still attached. And uh, yeah, I really like these. I'm really glad I picked those up. I haven't worn them yet. I honestly don't know what I'm going to wear it with. But uh, yeah, they're really nice. And then next I have the blue tint Yeezys. Uh, I kind of beat these up. Uh, these are honestly one of my favorite colorways for the Yeezys. This and the Zebra, but they mad released the Zebra. So I honestly don't like those anymore. If I'm able to pick them up for a little bit below retail, I'll pick them up. I'm not going to pay a little bit. I'm not going to pay over or retail for them just because they're mad GR now. But they, yeah, I really like the shoe. It's really nice. Blue tint, 350s. Stop making them. We're on to the next wave, 700. Speaking of the next wave, it's gonna be the Wave Runners, uh, 700. Yeah, these are dead stock. I still can't believe I dropped 300 for these, and I'm really happy. Honestly, I'm kinda happy, kinda sad that I did. Happy because this shoe is fucking amazing. It's beautiful. There's a lot of details, a lot of different colors, and a lot of things you can wear them with. Sad that I really dropped $300 on a pair of shoes, which is one of the most, almost the most I paid for a shoe. But yeah, I believe it's a really nice shoe and uh, I'm glad that I picked these up, kinda, sorta, not really. Next up on the heat, I have the Off-White Hyper Dunks, originally released 2017. I picked these up for 350, which is, I believe, almost 100, maybe even over like 150 over retail. And you guys know that these are going for more than 150 over retail. And I wore them once to work and uh, I put tape on the bottom so they wouldn't get dirty, but some of the tape residue is still on the bottom of the shoe. But these shoes could almost pass as dead stock, honestly. There's only, like minimal, minimal creasing on these. And yeah, I think these are really dope. Uh, red hang tag. You guys obviously know off-white, but this is the only off-white personal that I have. Before we get into the next off-white, I'm gonna be talking about the, about the shoe of the year, the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97 with the 
Air Max 1 outsole that I was talking about earlier today. The Air Max 1 bottom makes the shoe iconic and the Air Max 97 corduroy all over the top makes the shoe in general. The details on the shoe is amazing. It's a silky on the inside and the insole as well, really silky. These are still dead stock and I obviously has this Nike happy face in the middle. And I really like the shoe, it's a Velcro tongue as well. And a lot of people switch out the laces. I honestly, I'm keeping these OG's laces next time I wear them. But yeah, I really like the shoe. It's honestly amazing. I camped out 22 hours for these and I'm really happy I did just because the shoe is really beautiful in person and obviously the shoe of the year. And now that I got that shoe out of the way, I'm gonna be the close second that Air Jordan 1 UNC Off-White ones. This one doesn't have the zip tie, the zip tie's in the box, but this shoe is amazing. I was able to hit off of sneakers randomly. That shock drop got everyone crazy. And this shoe, this is why this is the second shoe, the best second shoe of the year. And the shoe that I'm holding, holding for a while, just because I know that the price is going up. But yeah, Renee, editor, whoever you are, whoever's editing this, it's gonna be me because my laptop's right here. Edit the clip, put in the clip that I won these. Wait, dude, no fucking way. Dude, I was in the shower. I was in the shower. Dude, no fucking way. No way, dude. I just copped the fucking off-white ones. Oh my God. No fucking way, dude. I swear to God, I'm naked. I can't show you guys, but I'm naked. I just copped the off-white ones. I just woke up. No fucking way. I was really excited when I won them and I'm really happy that I did just because the shoe is amazing. The details on the shoe is crazy. And it's off-white, you guys know how they look like. And a quick little tip of how to do the legit check uh, Air Jordan 1s. If it doesn't have that imprint, it's Fugazi, simple as that. You, all, that's all you need to look at, honestly. If it's there, you gotta keep looking, obviously, but still, that's that's a quick way of how to check. That imprint is a big key. Next up on the list, I have the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets. I ended up camping out for these, and I'm really happy that I did, just because it's a classic shoe and uh, uh, never mind. I thought these were brand new, but I wore them once and nah, I'm fucking they, they, they don't stink. But um, they the Nike tag is still intact in the middle, and uh, these aren't oxidizing as much as the Skeptas are, but they still are a little bit. But yeah, I really like this shoe, and I'm really glad I picked these up. I camped out for these, and I'm really happy that I did. It's a classic shoe, classic colorway. Next up on the heat rack, kind of, I just have it on display in my room. It's gonna be the Spider Verse Origin Story Air Jordan Ones. Uh, Pretty much the Chicago colorway, just with white dots all over it, just like the Spider-Man suit. And it has a blue outsole bottom. I really wish that they put a Spider-Man branding somewhere in the shoe, like somewhere maybe on the outsole or on the inside the shoe or something. Just pretty much something that makes it apart from just a normal Jordan 1. But unfortunately they didn't. The closest thing that they put was the blue and red on the Nike Air tab on the tongue. But this shoe is still beautiful and pretty, the closest thing I have to is Chicago besides the homage to home. So I, I had a cop. Next up onto the heat rack. The reason I had these on heat is because my friend gifted these to me and I'm really happy that he did just because that's really nice of him. So it's gonna be the Air Jordan 5 Internationals and I fuck with these heavy, they give me Knicks vibes. So th the way I'm probably gonna wear these is gonna be with a Knicks jersey, probably, most likely a Mellow jersey. Shout out to Mellow. No one wants you in the NBA, bro. You're old, you're washed, get out of here. But these shoes are really dope and the quality on these are really buttery. Honestly, these are slept on because the quality is really nice. And almost done for the heat rack, it's gonna be the A Star Is Born or Sports Illustrated Air Jordan 1 that just released towards the end of the year. Jordan just snuck this into the end of the year just to get it out of the way. And I really like these just because just like the Air just like the off-white ones, you could, you're able to pull these back and you're able to see a message. Just like the off-white ones, there is a little imprint right here. That's how you're able to tell whether they're fake or not. But yeah, these are really nice. Uh, the swoosh is actually stitched on, which is I really fuck with a lot just because I like when shoes have a lot of detail. And the quality on these are really good. And the smell of a new shoe can't be beaten by anything. And finally, for the heat rack, it's gonna be my last shoe. It's gonna be the Air Jordan 1 Shadows toddler size. I have these on display in my car, just have them dangling for display. And I know that once I have a kid in about 10 years, they're gonna be rocking these. Hopefully it's a he for my first baby. After that, I want a she. But just to get out of the way, I want them wearing these ASAP.
But yeah, I think these are really adorable just to have dangling in your car. If you're able to, if you have the extra money just bearing around, I would say to cop a pair just because they're pretty dope. They're really nice, especially just to have a little display in your car. I think it's pretty dope. So now you guys are probably gonna click off the video. If you got a real one, you gotta go still to the end just because I'm gonna show off my Vans. So finally, into the shoes that I really don't care about, it's gonna be the Air Jordan Futures. These were my first, first custom ever. And I turned them into pretty much Red Octobers. Uh, they were red with and I had white midsole and uh, it's crazy that I actually like these back in the day I haven't worn these in about two maybe even three years I still have them in the collection though just because they were my first custom my first memories pretty much But yeah, it's crazy to think that this got me I, I believe a couple thousand views and it's crazy to think that I don't, I don't even like these anymore But yeah, there's some Air Jordan Futures all red uh, It's just a little throwback a little memory and now into the Adidas that aren't Yeezys I have these Continentals, these are really comfortable. They look exactly like the Calabasas, pretty much, but this is all white. They're really comfortable, classic shoe. Um, and yeah, it's just really, it's, you're able to wear with anything. It's a really nice shoe. This, along with the Stan Smith, look very much alike. Uh, the Stan Smith, the only reason I liked them was pretty much because of the green hints. And it's an all over white shoe. But now that I look at it now, it looks like a doctor shoe and I'm really not digging them anymore. Uh, but yeah, I was able to pick these up for about like 20 bucks. So I, I really don't care. No money lost here, honestly. I wore them a couple times and I got them out of the way. Lastly, for my Adidas, it's going to be the Air Jordan Harden 1 Lifestyle. And uh, I really like these. The reason why is because you can wear them for casual wear and you can also wear them uh, just to play on the court. And to play on the court, they're really comfortable and really light. And because uh, of the prime knit, I would guess you could call this prime knit. And also the boost, the boost material on it is really comfortable. So it makes your feet really light and comfortable when you're playing on the court. So I really like these, just hardens. Now we're getting into all my Vans and these are my actual casual wear Vans. And just to uh, separate the Vans a little bit more, uh, these are my casual wear Vans, just to wear, to wear around now. I go to go through, I believe three, maybe even four of these a year. So it's always nice to have a fresh pair intact. In Next on my black, these are just plain black and white. Next I have, I, these were, just plain all white vans, but I had the idea to make these into the CDG, kind of like the Converse. I'm gonna put a picture up right there. Uh, kind of like the CDG Converse. And I really like how these turned out. The only thing is they're really white and they're so hard to fucking keep clean. One time I wear them, I have to clean them right after unless I got a stain on them. Next up on my list is gonna be the red and white checkered vans. I've had these for almost two years now. And uh, I was one of the first to actually have them. I got them when they first released and they sold out. And now you're able to get these at any Vans ever. So uh, the only reason why I haven't gotten a new pair is because they kind of remind me like I was I was one of the first, I was the first on this checkered wave and now everyone's on it. But yeah, these are really nice shoes. Next up on the Vans is I have some uh, all yellow. Pretty much the only reason I got these is because they remind me of the Sean Witherspoons. And uh, they're actually really nice colorway, yellow and white. I believe they're really nice. You can, they're a summer vibe shoe. So really good to wear in the summer and uh, really good to wear if you know how to dress and dress up, dress it down pair of Vans. Next up, I have the, just, it was a black and white Vans and now I turned it into an off-white pair of Vans. I ended up putting it off in the front, a little off-white branding in the back, off-white inside the shoe, off-white on the tongue. And then I ended up putting these diagonal lines on the side a zip tie, obviously, because of the off-white vibes. And finally, off-white branding in the inner panel. As long as I also took off the white strip in, in the inner side of the shoe. And uh, yeah, these actually took me a while to make. Actually, oh, fuck. I also put bands on the midsole. And uh, these actually, yeah, took me a while to make. And I still haven't finished the other pair. But I really like these shoes. And I plan on make, uploading the video sometime this year. Some, hopefully soon. And uh, finally, not finally, because it's not my lost pair of bands. But I have these uh, slip-on checkered Vans. I'm actually wearing them right now as we speak uh, while making this video. I gotta record this fast because my camera is running out of storage. So pretty much these uh, checkered Vans, you're gonna be able to wear them with anything. Blue jeans, black jeans, shorts. Just slip them on, get them out of the way. They're really nice Vans to wear. And that's why I'm putting them on back on my feet right now. Next up on my Vans, I'm gonna be gonna have these Harold Hunter Supreme Con de Garcon Vans that I was able to pick up for $100 even. And I'm really, really happy with this pickup just because it's really hard to find a pair of these out in pretty much good condition. And I'm glad to say that I actually restored these into wearable form. So uh, yeah, shout out to me for able to do these. And uh, finally, 
These are my pick up the dog shit, take out the trash, go get Chick-fil-A, go get whatever. A pair of Vans, they were beat up Vans I actually wore as casually as long as possible until so they're turned into something like this. Oh shit. And uh, yeah, I got bored and painted on this one. But uh, yeah, these are just my pretty much get anything, pick up whatever type shoes. You just slip them on, get them out of the way, just to pretty much have something on your feet. And with that point, you can't forget about this. You gotta have the Nike slides with you at all times for that sole purpose of just slipping on whatever and doing whatever. So that's why you gotta have a pair of slides in your collection. So that is my secret collection as of 2018. Hopefully I don't plan on doubling this in 2019, but I might just because of the way I am. But yeah, that was a total of, I don't know, give me a second, let me count them real quick. So that is a total of 59 shoes in my total collection and minimum i would say hopefully i've spent uh less than six thousand hopefully i'm guessing i'm pretty sure it's gonna be more though but i'm gonna have the calculations down below of how much i paid retail and how much my whole collection is worth down below over here in this corner so without further ado thank you guys for watching Click the like button if you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm dropping a shit ton of more content in 2019 and I'm gonna blow up this year. I'm calling it right now. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, keep it real everybody, and I'll catch you. Hold up, I need a shoe. Um, I'll catch you on the flip side.